सो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दोस्तों वी हैव अ गुड कंपेरिजन फॉर द मैकबुक एयर एम थ्री एंड दिस इज नथिंग बट द आर्म बेस स्नैप ड्रैगन एक्स प्लस सरफेस प्रो विद ए आई प्लस को पायलट फ्रॉम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड दिस वीडियो इज नॉट स्पॉन्सर्ड बाई माइक्रोसॉफ्ट आई बींग एपल फैन बॉय आई एम गोन शेयर वॉट आर द फीचर्स आई मिस एंड वॉट आर द फीचर्स अमेजिंग पावरिंग ए आई प्लस को पायलट इन आर्म बेस्ड चिपसेट्स by Microsoft and Snapdragon. Let's unbox it. Okay, so दोस्तों Surface Pro is finally here, the future of AI computing, and this comes with keyboard separately, which I'll show you soon. So let's unbox the Surface Pro Magic. Oh ho! Microphone, camera, microphone, volume up, down, power button. Okay, and two USB Type C ports, and one charger, which is like MagSafe. Okay, let's open. Thirty-nine. Okay, so thirty-nine watt charger. Okay, so let's see the quality of MagSafe. It's pretty good. Wow. So this keyboard, dosto, comes with the pencil, which is going to be so so useful for teaching. Amazing. Uh, I'm not sure ki. how to make it stay here oh okay so using this i don't know how to open it so this should be a way okay so this is the way you can make the laptop stay sturdy oh it's pretty strong and let's open the laptop pretty cool and the magnetic locks are pretty incredible so for example if you don't want the pencil you can just magnetically lock it and hide it and hide hide it's pretty solid so first of all yaar start karte with the experience so macbook air this is m3 now this is known for fast unlock you open it it gets unlocked within 2 seconds that was in the presentation of apple's keynote now let's talk about now let's talk about with the surface pro this one my favorite experience is that this one also has just 2 second sometimes more but yeah just 2 3 seconds and the computer is ready and with face id or face unlock i am able to unlock immediately so the most important thing the moment you open this laptop the fan does not kick in and you can open it with just one hand and with with facial recognition instantly unlocks so in macbook i just touch the trackpad it's on and for windows the difference is i have to always use a power button and it automatically shuts down many times so that's something i do miss in macbook instant on the moment you open the lid it's basically on the fastest but here it's been like 10 15 seconds the power button is clicked now let me show you one more time power off now if i try to power on with trackpad it's almost instant but many times it shuts down that is the only thing slow about this. now number two thing i want to talk about is before the ai i want to talk about what software engineers care about so as a software engineer on this i first cared about android studio and emulators and that was the same case with apple's m1 air when it was released and same is happening now because it takes time for things to be compatible now on android studio the performance is pretty good i was able to set up android studio within few minutes just like apple computer as compared to 30 minutes plus it took me when i was trying the previous surface go book if you remember the video i'll link it as well now the experience is really really fast so cpu performance is indeed better than the macbook air m3 just like they showed just like satya nadella showed in the keynote but gpu performance is little bit less as compared to macbook air m3 but overall it is a very good competitor as compared to macbook air but now let's talk about other performance differences but before that let me talk about a little bit of hardware so this is very amazing hardware now i love this Surface Pro over Surface Laptop 7 which is released so both costs around the same so this costed me around $1300 because for this keyboard you have to pay separately so this keyboard detaches and you have to pay separately for this keyboard and this keyboard comes with 
the pencil which is very useful now this is useful because i sometimes in my classes if you have seen my android classes so in my android classes i sometimes have to teach now the writing experience on the one note is amazing because the notes i take i don't need to use an external tablet like ipad or any tablet because i can take notes directly on one note and one note app syncs with windows as well as macbook so this ecosystem is stronger because the Apple apps are not compatible with Windows. But I use Microsoft OneNote a lot these days. So the notes I take on this computer, they can be synced with MacBook, my phone at all times. Now with the help of OneNote, these notes are special because these notes, first of all, allow me to search in handwritten text. Sometimes you have a quick meeting, you want to take notes. These allow me to do that and this can, you know, act as a complete tablet and complete laptop which an iPad cannot give you, which even a MacBook cannot give you is mind blowing. So yeah, I am not biased. I still think that there are some things lacking in it. For example, smoothest animation. When you're using a MacBook, you, you use your three finger gestures. You feel like every single frame is moving with your fingers. But using a Windows, you feel like you're some frames are moving faster than your fingers. It is not, it is very smooth to be honest, but not still as smooth as Apple computers are giving you, but it's reaching there. It is reaching very close. This is the toughest comp competition that a Surface Pro has given because now with this specially setup, I don't have to pay for iPad. iPad almost costs around $500. MacBook Air is $900, but this $1,300 combination is cheaper than iPad plus MacBook Air. Plus performance is also very competitive. So let's start with Photoshop. This is Snapdragon X Plus and that is M1 Pro. So starting with Zoom, which was presented, it's very smooth. It was never as smooth I have seen on a Windows and it's amazing. And now talking about Mac, it's equal smooth, I'll say. I don't see any difference, but great performance on both. Let's talk about the things that are missing in this. Number one is Premiere Pro. They have promised maybe coming July, some of the apps will be compatible, but I tried really hard it failed all the time. No Premium Pro available as per official sources. I know Dave Turi's channel, he somehow managed to install Premium Pro, but it's extremely difficult to figure out because even after downloading from different website, it fails to install for me. But currently we have CapCut. I tried CapCut for video editing and I removed this background and I compared the performance with MacBook Air. Removing background just like the presentation is faster than even MacBook Pro. I tried the speed of removing this background on CapCut with even MacBook Pro's performance and results are so surprising because this is beating the performance of removing the background, but I compared the export speed. Export speed is exactly same, just like even MacBook Pro I use. So this is amazing. It was it's very cut to cut competition. Of course, the performance, you cannot compare with M1 Max or M2 Max or M3 Max chips, but Pro chips, it is still close to the competition. But M3 Air, it is like neck to neck. Now, how can this be AI plus Copilot without trying AI? So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Paint app, which is completely reformed. So this has this co-create button. So let's say I'm making mountains. So here brush leke, we can make some mountains. And here I'm gonna change it to, let's say green and make a hut. So first thing I drew on a computer in my childhood was this. And here let's say green grass. And then let's add some water. Now I'm going to describe what I'm making. So let's say I am making house in mountains with lake. Now let's see. I don't even have to tap any button. It's already working on making a preview. Oh, ye kya hua? it's an update. So Windows is famous for its updates. Sorry guys, abhi update hoga. So updates completed, blue water. And now let's click the co-create button. Try co-create. I hope this time it doesn't crash. Okay. So now let's type it house in mountains. 
and now wow it actually looks beautiful i am impressed i am very impressed this is so amazing let's max out the creativity wow wow this is actually amazing this is lot of fun to play and i love the image adding it to canvas so based on how you creative you want it can make an image and this can be a good wallpaper to use amazing now next feature live captions so just search for live captions and they are ready i have set it to english now i can just go to edge and open any youtube video so let's try any video in spanish yo apenas llevo maquillaje pero he visto en internet que la gente se puede hacer como la boca más grande en ese estos son las comisuras de los labios he oído que si te pones una raya and these transcripts are very accurate i can see it and you can also see something in the task manager that this was actually happening on the npu in device so you can go to details and uh, process processes and go to the npu and this process just happened on the npu so if i run it again quitas aquí hace que las comisuras de los labios and you can see the npu peak again Now let's talk about the camera. First of all, camera centers me in the frame. Plus, it has a lot of AI features such as my eye movements, and it has a lot of blurs, the standard blur and portrait blur, which looks looks more cinematic. And many people have reported battery life of twelve hours even on video playback. I left at fifty percent last night and woke up with forty eight percent. Exceptional. So overall, yeah, this is a great computer. If you're using, let's say, Premiere Pro from day one, if you want it today, then maybe go for either wait or go for MacBook Air M3. Also in the description below, which has a sale on even Amazon for nine hundred dollars. But if you have the patience and you can, yeah, you can try CapCut or alternatives or find the hack to install Premiere Pro somehow on this computer, then it could be worth it. Because overall, most of the apps people need, they are working. pretty fine browsing vs code which is also owned by microsoft github of course all the development tools are pretty much ready android studio will be coming soon with the emulator but you can use your physical device meantime so that will be my conclusion what do you think let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching